5158027. Three-way calls or call waiting is not allowed and may automatically disconnect this call. Did you know the person calling you now has voicemail? You can leave a message for this party by calling 520-448-3426. You will need to know the inmate's nine-digit phone ID. Thank you for using GTL. What's good with the YouTube? You already know, being black with a pound of perspective. You already know what time is coming directly from the channel jail, man. Well, I got a smash, a dash, and slide on through with a whole lot of energy. So please hit the like, subscribe, comment. Do all those things to help support your boy and hit that bell notification for future buyer content. So, man, I, I've been a, a content creator for, for a long time, man, as, as you can tell by this topic. And, uh, you know, many times I've been identified. Several times, man. I've been out in Las Vegas at Circus Circus, and I, I actually ran into one of Baby Joker's cousins, man, and he stopped me and wanted a picture, you know. Another time I was at the gym in Santa Rosa, or no, Rona Park, and I ran into somebody from the guest store, and, uh, you know, he was with another, another bigger home, and he came up to me, and I, I thought he was watching this, this chick do some lap on the lap machine that was, like, real heavy, right? And I was just, like, okay, damn, like, I was impressed by how much she was lifting, but he was actually checking me out, like, he recognized me, he finally came up to me, and he goes, hey, you whoa, whoa, and I'm like, nah, I'm whoa, whoa, whoa. And I was kind of, like, you know, stand up, it's like, you know, what's cracking, and, and he ended up saying, hey, I, you know, I watch you on YouTube. I'm like, okay, cool. Another time I was at the gym in Petaluma, and I ran into somebody from NAFA that, you know, he didn't bang, but he was into the channel, you know, chopping up with people. You know, I've been out there in Washington at the casino with Gunner, and, and we had someone that came down there because they recognized the casino that we were at, man. And another time in San Diego, I was walking the boardwalk, and the individual from out there was walking this dog, stopped, and he said, hey, man, are you woo woo woo? Yeah, that's me. Even out here in Tucson, I've been at Desert Diamond, man, ran to the homeboy Beto from up here from Southside Tucson, man, stopped me and took a picture. Another time I was at Kinder's, you know, and another person stopped me, hey, man, I was watching you. And so I commonly see people all the time who recognize me from YouTube, and for the most part, it's been a, it's been a pretty cool experience, you know, and, and I don't try to, you know, I meet people, I try to be down to earth, I try to show who I really am, and recently I had a snow stop me. You know, check this, this was kind of interesting. He stopped me and told me, man, you know that, you look like an actor. And he was trying to figure it out. And I'm, I'm right there with another homeboy and stuff, right? And other homeboy's joking around. And he's all tatted back. He goes, man, don't I look like an actor? He goes, yeah, yeah, you look like an actor. Like in big one of these type of movies. But he goes, man, he goes, you know, I see you from somewhere, man. He goes, you got that look. You know, and God is my witness. He goes, man, I, because you got to look for movies of TV. And I'm like, man, you know. Then he brought up YouTube, and I just started to smirk a little bit, man. And he pretty much started to recognize me, like, "Okay, I've seen you from I've seen you from YouTube." He was pretty much saying, you know. And I get that all the time, you know. And I don't sit there and advertise it, okay? That I, that I do YouTube here and there, but I don't I don't deny it either, you know. It's it's just not something I always want to get all the attention for. I have to keep some things private as private as and I can. But when I do talk to people and I get to know them, hey, I'm very open about it, that. Yeah, I do YouTube. You know, and a lot of times what's, what's tricking out is I've also ran into inmates already. And what gets them every time is, I didn't really know this, but I guess when I'm on camera, I start to smirk, right? When I'm telling stories or when I'm pausing or, or especially when I'm doing, I'm interviewing someone, right? And when the homeboy told me, man, he goes, fucking, I know you're fucking smirk. I know who the fuck you are. And I started laughing, right? You know, because just by the smirk, you know, and I've ran into people at court as well or medical. You know, they always tell me, hey, I know you from stuff. It's like, oh, you're from, from YouTube, you know? And it's funny because, you know, every time, every time I've ran into people, right? No, another time, I haven't talked about down the street, and a car came by me three, four times, and, and, and he, then he yelled out my name. And um, I told my son, I said, man, yeah, get behind that car right there. And I, you know, I told you what was cracking, what's up? And it ended up being a fan, because you never know if someone has an issue or someone has some people, or maybe someone doesn't like you. you know what I mean, and this, that happened as well. But I, like I said, I've ran into people, in every experience I've run into people, it's always been cool, I've always been down to earth, and it's kind of a shock that people expect you to be a certain way, right? They, they see you, you know, doing videos, they see you do, I mean, you know, uh, on lives, they get a feel for your character, and sometimes they think that that's truly you. And I tell them every time, I said, when I first started doing YouTube, it was to try to help kids. It was, trying to, it was to try to help people change their lives. It was trying to people to, trying to help people learn from my mistakes or other people's mistakes. 
they want to make up for you. So they don't have to make choices like me. Look where I'm at today, you know? So my demeanor was always professional. It was always serious. Because I, I think that this is something that has to be serious, you know? As a content creator, we can't let things go to our head. We can't be too joyful. We can't be too much this. Because if you're really trying to have a message, this is big business. We got no time to sit there and, and sell souls or be fucking internet wars. We have no time to push negative messages. We may not always agree with each other, people that have YouTube channels, but we don't have to be those, those, we don't have to be a negative example of what not to be. And I've always tried to pride myself at times that, you know what, well, I've never ever been one to attack anybody unless they attack me. You attack me, I'm coming at you because I'm not afraid to stand up for myself and I'm not going to be anybody's format. And, you know, I've learned that there's been consequences based upon that. But I've also learned that people sometimes will, you know, uh, think that because maybe they hear someone talking shit or because you're this way that this is who you are. I said, no, nah, that's not who I am. I'm always attentive. I'm always security conscious of, of my surroundings, you know, and, and I'm always ready for whatever comes my way, period. Hey, where I'm at. I, same way I was when I was 18, I'm going to be like that when I'm fucking in my 50s. Right? It doesn't change. But like I tell people, I said, look, you know, that's just me on camera. That's me trying to have a message. You know, I can have jokes. I can joke around. I can do this. I can do that. You know, oh, look, you know, if someone else is talking shit or another content creator, I go, hey, check it out. I tell people, I go, look, you're saying that you don't see that from me, but you hear from this person. I go, do you see that person in front of me right now? You see them talking shit from behind the camera. Most of these people, you know, they're doing their own type of content for their views. So how they portray someone, they're portraying someone that they don't even know. Like me, I don't know some of the people from, from outside of just them doing videos. Uh, yes, I've had conversations. I've you know, tried to be cool with people from time to time. But I really can't say that I really know too many people personally, except for maybe a couple people that I've done time with or that I've been out to the streets with. But just because I've had those conversations or just because I've met people on, on IG or, or, or Facebook or whatever it may be, doesn't mean I truly know you. Doesn't mean you truly know me. You don't. People don't know how the other person gets down, and so I have to explain people, explain to people because they're like, "Oh man, you know, you're really a down to earth dude, man. You're real kid chill. You're real laid back." I go, "I've always been this way." I said, "Don't let someone who doesn't know 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 a person, or someone who's just hating, don't let what they say be a reflection of what you think when you judge that person. Let your own judgment and how you deal with that person." Let, let, let their actions unveil the mask behind their character. Because a lot of people talk, 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 but the actions aren't the same. And I've always I stood by that. And that's the one thing that I've, I've come to find as a blessing in doing YouTube and, and being a content creator is that when I do encounter people, I can, I can show my true authentic self. When I do truly interact with people, I'm something totally different than that maybe they think. People are always going to have perceptions. Like I said, YouTube, there's people that like, like, to, like to ride the wave. They like to, you know, uh, influence people's minds. And some people are so naive that whenever they hear something, they expect that. They think that maybe this person's hardcore. Maybe they think this dude's a weenie. You don't know that till you experience it. You know that person till you meet up and you know truly where they stand. Sometimes some people think that this person maybe is all about a positive message. But that positive message may only be the fuck they fill up their pockets. You never know. You never know until you start to interact with that person and see who they truly are and what they're truly trying to do. And me being a content creator and me running into people, I've all, every time, I've always been able to set people straight with a whole different mindset of what they may first perceive me as. I'm always going to push a hard line. I'm always going to stand tall. I'm always going to be ten toes down no matter the situation. And I'm always going to try to do what's right. And in me, being a content creator, I'm not trying to do things to, uh, you know, be, be, be greedy or just fill my pockets because there really ain't a lot of money in this stuff anymore. They ain't like it was a couple of years ago. I'm still doing this to try to have that message and, and help somebody not make the same choices. So when I'm telling these stories, I'm authentic with it. I'm really not trying to get all those views, like I said before, like some people are trying to focus just on the money aspect of it. If that's what people's goals are, they're never going to reach it. You're only going to get to a certain point because in order to be successful at some point, you're going to start to see the lies, you're going to start to see the bullshit, and you're going to see the fakeness. I really value on being authentic. I really value on being genuine. I really value on being real. And that's one thing I can say to all my subscribers, all my viewers. Anybody that watches the show, anybody that's ever met me, they're going to tell you. 
that's really met me in person, right? That's really had a conversation with I'm in jail on the streets. They're gonna tell you something different than what you may perceive, right? I'm a real one when it comes to that. What I mean by that is I'm not fake. And I'm not talking about real one being a gangster or anything like that. I'm saying she's what you get. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be genuine, I'm not gonna be fake, right? And I'm not gonna disappoint anybody because I don't switch up. This is who I am. I make I may make mistakes and I have. Look where I'm at today. I've made some bad mistakes, some bad choices, but I'm always gonna be real. And in meeting people, whether it's a pressure officer or whether it's an inmate or whoever it may be, you know, I value that they get to see me for the man that I truly am. With that said, you both like this from a positive perspective. I'm out.